to have a look at mysore dasara people travel to mysore that is cultural tourism products is a combination of tangible and intangible elements self employment is the state of working for oneself rather than an employee hello everyone this is purna chandra faculty department of commerce and management vidyashram the temple of excellence so we are dealing with the subject entrepreneurship development for fifth sem bcom and today we will be winding up with the syllabus so today will be the second session of unit 5 so the name of the unit is business ethics and event management so we will start so here topics covered today so what is basically tourism that is movement of people to different places across the world or across the state or country so how tourism can be encatched as a business next self employment that is how people are self sufficient with their own work being a writer or an artist or a freelance model or anything that is self employment new generation entrepreneurs there now there are a lot of new generation entrepreneurs that are coming into limelight like your mark zuckerberg who came out with facebook bill gates also who came out with microsoft and became the richest person in the world and also the oyo ritesh agarwal who is worth 1.1 billion as of today so we will understand these three things so basically these three things can be asked for 5 marks in your examination so we will start tourism so here tourism is a social cultural and economic phenomenon so why people travel from different places they want to see different things for example there is seven wonders of the world for example there is egyptian pyramids there is great wall of china there is taj mahal in india there is niagara falls in us so people just to have a look at it they travel so this is the concept of tourism that is it is social so for example india it is an heritage country for example in india there is taj mahal just to look at taj mahal people travel from abroad for example mysore there is mysore palace so just to have a look at the mysore palace they travel so this is regarding social then cultural cultural means there are a lot of cultural events that take place across the world for example when you come to mysore there is mysore dasara which is having history of more than 400 years to have a look at mysore dasara people travel to mysore that is cultural and it is also an economic phenomenon because because of tourism there are a lot of people who make money for example hotel industry or your travel industry they make money because of tourism that is it is an economic phenomenon it includes the movement of people to countries or places outside their usual environment usually tourism comes into place when people move from their usual places that is they travel across borders from one country to one country or from one state to one state so this is the concept of tourism it can be for personal or business purpose so personal means family trip or a new couple they have just married they travel and business purpose means certain people they want to invest in a particular country so before investing money in the form of fdi fdi means foreign direct investment they travel to those countries to check how economically the country is so everything will come into consideration so it can be for personal as well as business purpose so next tourism products so there are a lot of tourism products we will understand tourism products is a combination of tangible and intangible elements so tangible means it can be measured intangible means it cannot be measured so that is the meaning so here natural so there are certain things like natural as i have already given example of niagara falls so it is occurring natural and it is very elegant and beautiful to look at 
So just to have a look at that natural phenomenon, people travel. It is also a part. Cultural, as I have already explained regarding your Dasara, Mysore Dasara, or there are a lot of cultural events that take place because India, there are n number of cultures. So each state will have their own kind of culture. So to witness those culture, people travel. Then man-made resources. So man-made resources can be your Mysore palace which is built, which is man-made. To have a look at the palace, people travel. That is man-made resources. Or your KRS dam, it has been built. To have a look at the beauty of the dam, people travel. So next, attractions. So people mainly travel to see attractions. So whatever it might be. So suppose some people are attracted to a particular place. Just to have a look at it, they travel. Next, facilities. So facilities is also very important. For example, some foreign people, they want to visit Mysore and have a look at Mysore Dasra. So before visiting, they check whether there is good facilities in Mysore. Like what? Accommodation facilities, food, travel. So everything will come into consideration. So next, services. They also look at services. It is also like accommodation services, hotel services, travel services, etc. That is the meaning. Center of interest. So tourism is also intended on center of interest. Like I already explained Mysore Dasara, it is a center of interest. So just to witness the Dasara, just to see the elephants, people travel, that is center of interest. So next, tourism products is the combination of, so all these things will come into consideration when people travel. So we can consider all these things as tourism products together. So accommodation, if there is quality accommodation, people travel. Food and beverage. If the food and beverage is good, people travel. Suppose there is a negative review on food and beverage, then people will think twice to travel to such places. Next, transportation. They also check the quality of transportation, the roads, whether they are comfortable with it or not. Entertainment, for example, entertainment means for example, people have come to watch Dasara. So along with Dasara, entertainments like circus or playing on a giant wheel in an exhibition, that will also come into consideration. Because a lot of kids, they travel to Mysore just to witness the circus or play in the exhibition. That is entertainment. Routes and services that are used throughout the trip. That is, there are a lot of services that will be used throughout the trip. So for that also becomes your tourism products like what like any food or any cool drink you drink that also becomes a tourism product. Next self employment. So here self employment is the state of working for oneself rather than an employee. So here you don't want to work under anyone you want to be self employed and you want to be alone not with anyone else. So you are doing some activities for your benefit that is self-employment usually in majority of self-employment tax returns have to be filed so what happens here is when you are self-employed when you are earning more than the tax slab you will have to make the payment so here self-employment usually classified as sole proprietor sole proprietor is a single person he owns the business alone he invests capital on his own any profit, he is the only person who is going to enjoy the profit. Any loss, he is the only person who is going to suffer the loss. He is a sole proprietor. So, independent contractor. So, you can become an independent civil contractor where you can come out with the constructions of buildings, apartments, etc. So, next in self-employment, recent trends in self-employment, writers. So, who are writers? Writers are creative persons who write articles, stories. So in what way they have got benefit? Writers, they can write stories for movies or serials. And if the story is very good, they will be paid well. That is freelancers, your freelance artists, models, they make money freelancing. That is, they don't commit for a long period of time. Whenever they are free, 
they do the work that is freelance artist also your painters who paint drawings or any other form of art dancing they will be hired for the shows so they are also self employed next journalism so there are a lot of journalists so they also are self employed they do some research work come out with articles and they are paid graphic designers who are trending today so they have got a lot of scope in today's context so they are also self employed so these are the people who are trending today when it comes to self employment so next e marketing as a self employment opportunity so what is the meaning of this e marketing is your mar digital marketing so how they can encatch the digital world today when it comes to self employment content marketing what is the meaning of this so content marketing is nothing but you write something for example you come out with different concepts for advertisements or you write some stories for movies or some scripts and later on what you do you email those content to the film directors or any person who is in need of it and if the content is good you will be paid well this is content marketing next social media marketing so this is trending these days social media like your facebook and your instagram whatsapp are helping marketers in a very good way so how you can market your product on social media for example in instagram there is paid promotion so what happens in paid promotion is the model or any person who is very popular he'll be given some amount of money to promote the product in a video on instagram in a reel on instagram that is social media marketing email marketing so email marketing basically means you are targeting certain people to buy a particular product so you are giving details of the product you are sending them emails to convince them to buy your products this is email marketing so next entrepreneurs in india so basically in india entrepreneurs you can classify them into two types one is family business another one is new generation entrepreneurs and there is also agriculture entrepreneur and rural entrepreneur and also you are women entrepreneur which you already studied in the first unit so we will see what is family business so any business that is run by a particular family we call it as a family business so here any business that is run by members of family or joint family can be called as a family business that is family members they come together they conduct some production and they sell it and they make a business out of it so they can also be called as family owned business family controlled business family managed business business houses all these things give the same meaning so here family business a family can make a business with the following so these are the scope for a family business baking if they are good at baking they can bake cakes and pastries they can make a business out of it condiments that is your sweets they can prepare tasty sweets at home and they can sell and tailoring and cloth alteration so if they are very skilled in tailoring and cloth alteration now there is a recent trend called boutiques so they come out with their own designs and they are making a business out of it child care so child care is nothing but your montessori so if there is a big space at home they can accommodate certain kids there and they can take care of them grocery service distribution of grocery that is fmcg fast moving consumer goods so all these things can come under family business so next new generation entrepreneurs so new generation entrepreneurs what is it you will understand new generation entrepreneurs are one who succeeds in influencing the society with a project idea or innovation so influencing the society means they come out with something out of the box in a creative way that is till date no one has done it but they are coming out it with now so here they reveal what is not there and try the untested that is no one has done it before but they are going to do it now that is new generation entrepreneurs they use their mind time and knowledge they think out of the box they brainstorm regarding 
what will be the future demand in the market and they come out with something different. So they focus on science and knowledge like how uh, recently the Swiggy, how they have used the GPS system to locate the address and give home delivery for food or your Amazon on Flipkart, how they locate the location and they give food delivery. So that is based on science. That is the meaning. So next examples of new generation entrepreneurs is your Bill Gates who came out with Microsoft. So here whatever we are using your PowerPoint, your MS Word or your MS Excel, everything was formulated in Microsoft. So he became the richest man coming out with Microsoft. So next Mark Zuckerberg, Meta or Facebook, he came out with Facebook and Instagram and the whole scenario of the world has changed after he invented it. So he is a new generation entrepreneur. Then your Ritesh Agarwal he is from India and he came out with OYO, the concept of OYO rooms and he is worth 1.1 billion dollars. So these are the examples of new generation entrepreneurs. So now we are done with the syllabus of entrepreneurship development for 5th SEM BCom. Thank you.